Bowen wrestles with these dark ideas in isolation, he knows they are not only socially explosive, but may be disastrous personally, especially now he's considering marriage. Do you like sugar, Charles? No, thank you. In keeping with family tradition, Darwin turns to his cousin Emma, whom he's known since childhood. Emma is devoutly religious, while Darwin is now having serious doubts. His father urges him to conceal his heretical thoughts, but Darwin decides to be honest. Leaving aside the duties one has to the Church of England, duties, of course, I imagine I shall always uphold. The best way to put this may be There is a widening gap between established theology and my changing view of the world. Genesis and geology cannot go hand in hand. As to the possibility of an external deity, well, there are times when I caught that possibility. But as to the concept of a god, has intervened in creation over the millennia, or intervenes in our lives with miracles and such like. On that, my dear Emma, you may find me wanting. I respect your beliefs, of course, and pledge to do so for all of our life together. Well, I thank you for your candor, Charles. I should dread the feeling that you're concealing your opinions for the fear of giving me pain. I am of the belief that honest and conscientious doubts cannot be a sin. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. Will you do me a favor, Charles? Read our Savior's farewell discourse to his disciples at the end of the chapter 13, St. John. It is so full of love and devotion. You can change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Having spent so much time at sea and with my work, I'm rather a solitary brute. Well, that will have to change a little, won't it? Now, I wonder would you do me a favor? I need your help with this experiment. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if the worms react to music. Darwin was a loving husband, and there were many times when he felt his work would probably worry his wife. The thing that worries her is that it was commonly believed that if you were a doubter, you wouldn't go to heaven. But she wasn't a policeman. She didn't stop him working on any of the things that he wanted to work on. It seems very likely that she prayed for his soul, but they were married to each other and they, they loved each other and they did manage to accommodate the differences. In 1842, the Darwins moved to the place where they will spend the rest of their lives, Down House in Kent. <laughs>